I think all of us are aware of the growth in the world's population, but until tonight I haven't appreciated the implications for the growth of cities and the resultant problems that the movement of population will bring. That, I think, is something that we all need to address. And I'm delighted to have seen your global challenges. And the one, for instance... Uh... I've been reporting on cities and sustainability for about 23, 24 years now. What strikes me is that although there have been some advances in discussion on new technology, there have been very few advances in our understanding of the way cities work. And it strikes me that basically we know what it takes to make a city work. The question is how to do it. Do we have the political will to do it? And at the moment it strikes me that there is not a great evidence of the political will to do what's needed. The battle for climate change will be won and lost in the cities. The reason being is at the moment 50% of the world live in cities. This is going to increase to 60% by 2030. But the most salient feature that means that we must make cities sustainable is that 75% of all the energy use at the moment is in the urban area. We have a fantastic opportunity to change the future of how we fuel cities. We've had some fantastic, lively academic debate, but what we now need to do is turn that into action on the ground. So it's how do we engage the wider population in these issues. We need to take those forward um, to the community, to people who live in the cities. How is that going to change their behaviour? How is that going to make people address these fundamental issues to how our cities become more sustainable? I think what's nice for me tonight is I can see that academia is coming back to practicality. Um, I've always felt that the academic world of uh, planning and uh, architecture has been slightly remote from the world of practice and what I'm very happy about tonight is the feeling that perhaps there is a common agenda that we can actually build on where the academics and the practitioners together can actually petition the government and I think we have a real opportunity of uh, affecting policy and maybe changing policy for the better. It's been a wonderful evening and I really hope this is the start of something uh, which will build for the future and have a real voice uh, in policy making.